John William Bauer, born November 8, 1924, and dying on December 26, 2017, nicknamed the China Wall, was a Canadian Hockey Hall of Fame goaltender who won four Stanley Cups during his career with the Toronto Maple Leafs. On January 1, 2017, in a ceremony prior to the Centennial Classic, he was named one of the 100 greatest NHL players in history. Bauer was born John William Kizkan into a Ukrainian-Canadian family in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, to Johnny Kizkan, a laborer, and his wife Betty. He had one brother and seven sisters. He taught himself how to play hockey using a branch as a stick and made himself goalie pads out of old mattresses. When he was 15, he lied about his age and enlisted in the Canadian Army during World War II, where he was stationed in England as a gunner with the 2nd Canadian Division from 1940 to 1943. His service ended when he was discharged due to rheumatoid arthritis in his hands. After his discharge, he returned to Prince Albert in 1944 to play junior hockey there. In 1945, he turned professional and moved to the American Hockey League, where he spent 11 seasons playing mostly for the Cleveland Barons in the late 1940s and 1950s. Kizkan began to use his mother's maiden name, Bauer, after his parents divorced in 1946. He legally changed his surname during his first year of professional hockey because sports writers often had trouble spelling Kizkan. In the AHL, he proved himself the star goaltender of the circuit, winning numerous awards and leading his teams to three Calder Cup championships. Bauer was picked up by the New York Rangers of the National Hockey League for the 1953-54 season. At the age of 29, Bauer made his NHL debut, and the team made him their starting goaltender over the previous season's Rookie of the Year winner, Gump Worsley. Bauer played in every game that season, recording 29 wins. The following season, Worsley won back the starting job for the Rangers, and Bauer was returned to the minor leagues. He played there for four more years across three different teams, the Providence Reds, the Vancouver Canucks, and the Cleveland Barons. Bauer would briefly play for the Rangers again in the 1954-55 and 1956-57 seasons before being claimed by the Toronto Maple Leafs in the 1958 interleague draft. Despite being claimed by Toronto, Bauer intended to stay with the Barons as he was tired of moving all over the country. When the Leafs hired Punch Imlach, he visited Bauer and convinced him to give the NHL one more try and became a strong supporter of his during his time with the Leafs, calling him the most remarkable and maybe the best athlete in the world. The Leafs, at this time, were an up-and-coming team of young star players, and after Imlach traded for Red Kelly, the Leafs were ready for contention. Bauer won his first Vezina Trophy in 1961 for leading the Leafs to the lowest goals allowed in the 1960-61 season. The height of his NHL career came during the Maple Leafs' three consecutive Stanley Cup victories in the early 1960s, 61-62, 62-63, and 63-64. He later said, When we won the Stanley Cup, my head went numb, my whole body went numb. That was my dream from day one. You just can't explain the feelings inside you. Bauer's career would be hampered by poor eyesight, but despite that, he remained a top-tier goaltender. He was known for his hard-nosed, scrappy playing style and would win another Stanley Cup in 1967 in tandem with another Hall of Famer, Terry Sawchuk. He claimed, I wasn't all that glad to see the two-goalie system come in. I wanted to play as many games as I could. Bauer and Sawchuk shared the Vezina Trophy when the Leafs allowed the fewest goals in the NHL in 1964-65. On April 22, 1967, in the second game of the Stanley Cup Finals, he shut out the Montreal Canadiens for his fifth and final career playoff shutout, four of them against the Canadiens. In the third game of the Stanley Cup Finals, April 25, 1967, and in his last Stanley Cup Finals appearance, he became the second oldest goalie to play in the finals at the age of 42 years, 5 months, 17 days. The Leafs won in double overtime when Bob Pulford scored. On April 6, 1969, at the age of 44 years, 4 months, and 29 days, Bauer became the oldest goaltender to play in a Stanley Cup playoff game. His last full season was 1968-69. 
He played his final game on December 10, 1969, a 6-3 loss to Montreal. Mainly due to injuries, this was his only game of the 1969-70 season. At the time, he was the oldest full-time player ever to participate in an NHL game and remains the second oldest goaltender behind only Maurice Roberts. He was surpassed as oldest full-time player by Gordy Howe, Chris Chelios, and now Yarmir Jagr. On March 19, 1970, Bauer publicly announced his official retirement, four months after his 45th birthday. He played 11 full seasons in all with the Leafs. When asked, in light of his retirement, if he might reveal his true age, he replied, If you don't know by now, you never will. He subsequently revealed his birth date as November 8, 1924. His regular season career statistics include 552 games played, 250 wins, 195 losses, 90 ties, 37 shutouts, and a 2.51 goals against average. In addition, he remains the AHL career leader in wins. Bauer worked for the Maple Leafs after his retirement in various capacities, including as a scout and goalie coach. He was assistant coach of the Leafs from 1976 to 1978. He retired from the organization in 1990, but continued to make public appearances on behalf of the organization for the rest of his life. Bauer was elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1976 and the AHL Hall of Fame as a member of its inaugural class in 2006. In 1998, he was ranked number 87 on the Hockey News' list of the 100 greatest NHL players. He was inducted into the Etobicoke Sports Hall of Fame in 1994 and into the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame in 1999. He was married to wife Nancy with a son, two daughters, eight grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren, and previously resided in Mississauga, Ontario. In January 2004, Bauer was featured on a postage stamp. As part of the NHL All-Stars collection, he was immortalized along with five other All-Stars. In 2005, the Royal Canadian Mint featured Bauer on a non-circulating 50-cent coin as part of its four-coin Legends of the Toronto Maple Leafs coin set. In 2007, it was announced that Bauer would receive a star on Canada's Walk of Fame. On October 7, 2010, Bauer opened the first game of the regular season for the Toronto Maple Leafs at Air Canada Centre by walking out on an implied bridge over water with his goalie stick. On May 24, 2014, Bauer attended a street renaming ceremony in Weston in Toronto, where he once lived for many years. Patika Avenue was ceremoniously renamed Johnny Bauer Boulevard to honor him for the time during the 1960s when he lived at 16 Patika Avenue. He proudly stated, It's a great day for me and my family. This is a better ovation than I used to get at Maple Leaf Gardens. Bauer was once again immortalized on September 6, 2014, when the Leafs unveiled him, alongside Daryl Sittler, as two of the first three inductees of Legends Row with statues outside Air Canada Centre depicting 12 of the greatest players in Maple Leafs history. On December 26, 2017, Bauer died at the age of 93 from pneumonia. In the days following Bauer's death, multiple teams including the Maple Leafs, Jets, Coyotes and Toronto Raptors of the NBA honoured Bauer with pregame tributes. On January 3rd, the Maple Leafs hosted a public celebration of Bauer's life at the Air Canada Centre. Thousands attended the event, including various former NHL alumni, the current Maple Leafs team, and other major figures. The memorial was televised across multiple channels in Canada, and in accordance with the event, Toronto Mayor John Tory declared January 3rd to be Johnny Bauer Day in the City of Toronto. For the remainder of the 27-2018 season, the Maple Leafs will wear patches on their jerseys and helmets in honor of Johnny Bauer.